What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with my segment, Boxing Ego, or Ego's First Look. And if you're new to my channel, basically, this is my tale of the tape. And what I want to give you is less opinions, just more fact, and less talk. Just kind of get to the beans and meat, if you will. Now, I want to talk about Vladimir Klitschko versus Brian Jennings. This is a good heavyweight fight. As you guys know, in January, the heavyweight division was shaped up when we had Deontay Wilder versus Bermain Stavern and the passing of the torch. The Stavern was the WBC belt holder, and in a convincing and good fashion, Deontay Wilder became the first American heavyweight champion since Shannon Cannon Briggs. So what I like about this is, as I said, you got some players in the heavyweight division, and this hasn't always been the case. In fact, post Lennox Lewis, it's really been dominated by Vladimir Klitschko, and his brother who's now doing politics back home. It's been real stagnant and not too many guys have been able to give the Klitschko's a run for their money and they've already been on record stating they're not going to fight each other. Here we have a guy like Bryant Jennings, strong, younger than Klitschko, athletic, and let's look at the tail of the tape. So Bryant Jennings from Philly, Pennsylvania, he has an undefeated record, 19-0. Klitschko, has 63 fights with only three losses, no draws. And there's a nine-year age difference between the two fighters. Bryant Jennings is nine years younger, almost a decade younger than Vladimir Klitschko. Bryant Jennings stands six foot three inches, and Vladimir Klitschko is three inches taller at six foot six. Now, the weight I use there just because of the heavyweight division, so there's no real true weight. Um like some of the other divisions. So I just used the weight from their most recent bouts. And Klitschko recently fought Pulev. And Bryant Jennings' last bout was versus Mike Perez. In the reach department, this is actually something I just discovered while I was making this graphic. That Bryant Jennings actually, even though he's the shorter guy, he has the longer arms. And this is the case in in other fights. I, I mean, I'm not surprised. I've seen a lot of guys like Floyd Mayweather has pretty long arms considering his stature. He has longer arms than some people who are at middleweight, which is weird. He actually, Floyd Mayweather, here's a fun fact, an ego fun fact. Floyd Mayweather has a longer reach than Mike Tyson, who was fighting at heavyweight division. So I'm not really surprised by that. I'm just surprised because I've always considered Klitschko as having a killer reach and wingspan. So I'm just surprised that a guy three inches shorter than him, like Brian Jennings, I never knew his reach was longer than Vladimir Klitschko because I just always considered Klitschko a really tall, pretty big heavyweight, a Goliath heavyweight. So I did learn that while I was doing that. Let me know if you think that plays a factor in this fight. Other than that, like I said, you got Brian Jennings. He's a vegan, so he keeps his body clean. Um, he stays in shape, as you can see from the graphic. He, he's in good shape. Hasn't really fought since Mike Perez, and that was a kind of rough and tumble fight, but he definitely did enough to win the fight. Vladimir Klitschko, in my opinion, looked very good in his last fight versus Pulev, which was supposed to be the most dangerous. So I think this is a really fun heavyweight bout, and the winner of this fight hopefully can fight one of the other top names, like the Deontay Wilders, the Tyson Furies, one of the top names in the division, preferably a unification with Deontay Wilder since he is now the WBC champion, which is a respected belt. I would love to see that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this particular fight. Again, just some good heavyweight action. We haven't really had that in recent memory. The heavyweight division has been very stagnant, very lackluster, where you had two guys who were just dominating, and that's Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko. So we're going to see, is it time to pass the torch to the young Philly kid? Bryant Jennings or is Vladimir Klitschko's his height his experience his reach is all of that going to play too much of a factor and also the momentum this is his 18th consecutive title defense so the odds are definitely against Bryant Jennings but I'm hoping for a good fight and we will see what Bryant Jennings can actually produce in this bout drop me a comment let me know what you guys think of this tale of the tape make sure you like my video as always Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.